everybody. Thank you so much for letting us play. We're, we could not be more honored to be here tonight. This is a really special place, and it's a really special night. And I just want to say like a couple of things before we play, uh, because this is not just about playing music, and it's not just about playing music to me. Um, I grew up coming here, and this was like a home that I had to learn and to fuck up and to grow. And it's been a really amazing and special part of my life. But um, I realize that my experience here is the way it is because there are things about me that make my life easier. And the color of my skin, the gender that I was assigned at birth and that I still identify with, uh, the place I was born, all of these things make my life a lot easier. And so I have a voice because people pay attention to me because of who I am. And there are a lot of people who don't have that same privilege that I have. So the first thing I want to say is we talk about our music having a message and that it's important for us. That's like what drives us to do what we do. That's why we're angry. And my message to all the people who have the same privilege that I have is to listen. Listen when it's fucking hard. Listen when it's uncomfortable or when, you, when you're the one who's wrong. Listen to the women in your life listen to the queer folks in your life and the trans folks and the immigrants and anyone who, whose experience you will never have because we will only even begin to understand what other people are going through when we listen to them. So I realize that you're listening to me right now because I have the mic, but I'm telling, I'm just trying to tell everyone that don't fucking listen to me. My voice is not the one that matters because my life is not that hard because of anything I can't change. So to everyone, to everyone who doesn't have the same privilege as me or the same privilege as all of us, I just want to tell you that we are trying to do better. We will do better and we're listening. We care about you. We're here. We will stand behind you or next to you if that's what you need. But we will do everything we can not to speak over you or the past. I'm not gonna stop! I'm not gonna stop! 
So we just put out a record two days ago. It's on Bandcamp, and all of the profits go to Pathways Vermont, which is a mental health <laughs> organization that Matt was for, and the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. So 100%. So if you have any money, you should, well, you should donate it directly, but if you want a free CD, you can get that too. Um, it's also for free because, fuck, we don't need your money. <laughs> we live with our parents. Uh, no, we don't. You are a parent. I am a parent. <laughs> so, I, I'd like to talk really quick. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not from Vermont. I've been in Vermont for 70 years. I'm from Long Island originally. And growing up, lo Long, I Long Island. Lo Long Island. But growing up, growing up, we had a venue called the PWAC. And as I look around this room, ever since the first time I stepped in it, I see Bands that I loved as a kid, my friends' bands, Indecision, Silent Majority, you know, Shut Down, they've played here. I see fucking Radiant Warzone played here. At least twice, like what the fuck? That's not my point. My point is this. I, much like a lot of people in this room, had the benefit of taking part of a community where they were able to learn from the older generation. I learned when I was young, I could start a band book a tour, put out a record, have a distro, and do whatever the fuck I want, and nobody can stop me because I was able to see it being done before me. And when I think about this place closing, I see that being lost. The space for, for the younger generation to be inspired by the older generation, to see this hustle, to start your own bands, to put out your own record, and to go on tour and see the whole fucking world if you want. And that's what concerns me the most. So I really encourage everybody in this room to pick up an instrument, start a zine, start a record label, be fucking cool, except for running a record label, which <laughs> isn't cool, but do it really cheap and good, good business. But seriously, do shit, because it's awesome, and start bands, and I want to play with your bands, and I want to hear your demos, so do it, and get in touch, and we'll, uh, we'll
By the way, there's water in the back. Stay hydrated, people. Uh, All right. This next song is a cover. Um, I didn't vote for Donald Trump. And if you did, fuck you. You're a fucking scumbag piece of shit. And this is your fucking fault. And I don't give a shit. And everything that happens because of the presidency is all of their fault. And it's fucking Hillary Clinton and the fucking Democrats' fault for fucking rigging the fucking election. So fuck all of them. This song goes out to Bernie fucking Sanders. It's called Fuck the Borders. It's by Propagandi. If you don't sing along, if you don't, I don't know. Anybody else really hot? Right. All right, so this is our last song. Uh, before we go, because we didn't really talk too much during this set, uh, with the uh, rising tide of hate crimes and the empowerment of white supremacist and fascist groups throughout our country, I am extremely concerned, as I'm sure a lot of people in this room are concerned. Just so you know, there are a few anti-racist and anti-fascist groups. I am part of organizing a meeting to form another Vermont anti-fascist group. Exactly what we want to talk about. Uh, 
Um, you are not alone. They are alone. They are fucking cowards and roaches who hide in the fucking shadows. And then when they think that they're in power, they show up on the streets. And they're here to oppress everybody in this room. So if you are moved to learn about who's on your side, talk to me, find me online, talk to me at this show on December 13th. Here at Amy in Burlington. So I hope to see all of you there. Uh, this next song is called My Friend of Folklore. This is about loving your buddies, and it's about carrying on their memories while they're alive and after they die. Uh, this song goes out to uh, Rob McAllister, Jason Rosenthal, Jamie Ewing, all of my friends and family that have passed, all of your friends and family that have passed. I'm grateful that I'm here today to still talk about them. Uh, this song is called My Friend of Folklore. Thank you for hanging we are the path. That's it. Thank you, you for your name. Thank you. 